Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing yellow trunks with black trim, fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, by way of Negril, Jamaica. He weighed in at 234 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 24 wins, no losses, 18 wins coming by way of knockout, rank number four in the world by the WBC, number 10 heavyweight in the world by the IBF. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Owen. What the heck? And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner in this 12-round championship elimination attraction, wearing red trunks with silver trim, joining us from his home in Queens, New York. He weighed in at already 218 pounds with a record of 30 wins, three losses. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, ranked the number three heavyweight in the world by the WBC, number seven by the IBF. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Monty Two Guns Barrett. Once again, our third man of the ring, Jay Nady, now to give instructions. 12 rounds of action scheduled. You guys have any questions? I gave you instructions for dressing room. Above all, obey my commands and defend yourself at all times. Touch club now, let's go to work. Thank you. Hi, everyone knows he's had talent, Steve. When he went down half a dozen times versus Vladimir Klitschko, to Beck was 16. He was accidentally shot in the abdomen. December, he totaled his car, and so this is nothing. Yeah. So far in this match, we, we have to like what we're seeing. Two right hand. Being Chris Bird, or the winner between WBC champ and top. The referee in the law here. As the lead up fight to Sphinx Judah, right? Owen Beck is keeping that left hand up much better, and that's why some of the right, there's no uh, Owen, which we mentioned in the keys to victory. That could be very important for him. Monty Barrett, and then back comes Owen Beck with the jab. Some pretty good exchanges here. Very good exchanges of both men showing good technique and being very, very aggressive. Caution by Jay Nady for the low blows. Barrett has to be careful not to do it too often or he'll get a point to I like the way Jay Nady told him though. That was a respectful way to tell a fighter. He knew it wasn't on purpose. Well, he got his attention. Yeah. With a nice jab by Barrett in close. I didn't expect this fight to be fought at such close quarters, Steve, and that's a little surprising. Yeah, Barrett more of a boxing heavyweight, but he's uh, pounding away on the inside. But Beck fights his way out nicely. And gets the crowd behind him. Back comes Barrett. Tremendous uppercut by Monty Barrett. And down goes Beck. Three, four, five, six, seven. You okay? Hey, come to me. You all right? Oh. Flash knockdown. He got up quickly. That's only the second time in 25 professional fights he's been on the canvas. The first time was against a fighter named Byron Polly, but Beck came back to knock Polly out of the first round. Monty Barrett isn't by trade uh, an inside fighter, but he's making it go here. There's that left hook by Owens. If he keeps throwing it, he might make something happen even while he's in trouble. And by Monty Barrett. Swinging for the fences now, Al. He's got back a little short. Now he goes to the body with the left hook, does Barrett. Beck comes back with a chopping over on the inside. Barrett throws this uppercut. That was the foreshadowing to what would happen here. The right hand and the hook from Barrett. Barrett not known to have the best left hook, but he's got a decent punch, and that one sent Owen Beck down. Another look on the inside. That was a terrific uppercut by Barrett. And you think when Barrett gets in an exchange of hooks with Owen Beck, it would be not to his benefit, but in this case, it was. The spoon, Frankie Randall, Michael Nunjul. Barrett in the red, 30 and 3, 16 knockouts. Beck in the gold, 24 and 0, 18 by KO. Watch your head. 
that they're right. It's a very successful punch for him. You know, both men are doing great work to the body. A scraping uh, left hook. Uh, not this right here. Good action for the big guys. Oh, and back to a really good one, but it didn't move Barrett. Beck coming on now. What an ebb and flow. It's now Owen Beck in charge. He may have hurt Barrett with that one hook. Barrett a bit debilitated. Momentarily summoned back comes Barrett. And a right hand by Barrett to the head. This is stylistically not even close to what we expected. Nice right by Barrett. They are wailing away on the inside. Wow. Virtually nonstop action. You can't throw those wide punches. I had that in the keys to victory. That always gets Barrett in trouble. Don't hold his head. Beck trying to Watch wear Barrett out with body shots. Back comes Barrett. On some of the that fights the that we looked at when we saw the tapes. He's worked on his defense, and now look at him on the inside, landing some very good shots against Barrett. That's good work on the inside by Beck. He has power in both hands, but speed is his key. At his best when he could set up his big right hand with the jab. That's a pretty good left hook, too. Fight early and came back, so he's showing the resiliency tonight that he showed in those other fights, even against better competition. Beck ranked number four by the WBC, Barrett number three. That was low! His left hook is too wide, and it's not his major punch. Jabs and straight right hands should be the answer for head? Barrett. Barrett just got nailed by a right hand. Jay Navy now. Yeah, there is now a, uh, a cut very evident around the left eye. And so as a result, Monty Barrett has got an issue, because if that cut opens up, he could lose his fight. Uh, this is a tough spot for Barrett. But blood streaking down from the, the left eye. Barrett with a lot on his plate. So this fight now coming down to a, a grinding halt, but back comes Barrett, who wakes everybody. But very game. We talked about how he has faced adversity in the ring in the four. There were two cuts, one below, one above the eye. Of course, the one above the eye is the uh, more damaging. Here's a nice left tuck. Barrett is game. Uh, the, going into his left eye, still firing those hooks. You know what's impressive about Owen Beck right now, Steve? He's doing a very workmanlike job. He's not getting crazy here, but here comes Barrett. Here comes Barrett. Going to the body. Back comes Beck with a left. Watch your head. Frenetic exchanges. Now Barrett with Beck on the ropes, not where Beck wants to be, but he fights his way out again. That's what got him in the second round when he went down. And a slicing, cutting right hand. Uh, amazing. Jimmy Glenn will get the cut man of the year award for this one. And it's all, in fact, nobody's throwing jabs, and that's a, a big issue at this point. More surprising, I think, from Barrett. Yeah. three, and he's got a better level of opposition. Beautiful. Only two fights. Only twice, he's two. I've got it even at 57-57. So see that this is a pretty close fight. Line in this fight, at 33, more is on the line for Barrett. A loss here tonight, not, maybe, maybe never getting a world title shot if you want to be dramatic. Big right hand to the head by Barrett that momentarily dazed Beck. But Beck stands right in there, another right, and another, followed by the left hook upstairs, and it's all Barrett here in round seven. You know, a lot of those are punches, that's why Fight, though. Scheduled for 12, a heavyweight elimination Watch your head. fight. Watch your head. Good moment. Switch there, momentarily yeah. to yeah. Southport. Yeah. He goes back. He went back. Who would you say? He wanted to trick you. I think he would prefer to trick Owen Beck, but he got me for a second. There's an uppercut to the jaw of Beck. And Beck was like a deer caught in the headlights for a moment. hands are so low and we see Barrett taking advantage of that a little bit but Monty Barrett is really not hurting him that bad. He did it against uh, Joe Macy. Here. Here's the uh, jab by Beck. Oh the right hand. Pretty good shot. Another right hand by Beck. A very heavy right
Klitschko, Hashi Rahman, Klitschko, Vitali, the WBC track. Now there's what they want from Rollins. Back well on the inside to the body and then back down in the second round. This has been a very good round for Owen Beck, and one that I think he needed because Barrett was starting to take control of this fight. And as you say it, oh. Barrett coming on strong here at the end of the round. Oh, he's getting those uppercuts in a lot now. I think he's got Beck a little shook, but he can't get to him. Big shots by Barrett has Beck bouncing off the ropes. Bad cover. Some difficulty in those middle rounds and was able to get back and beat Owen Beck. Monty Barrett is a man in that ring, let me tell you. And the fact that Owen Beck had not been into these later rounds, Steve certainly played a big role in this. He just wasn't quite ready to sustain over 12 rounds. So Monty Barrett, after an 11 month layoff, continuing to roll. You have. You see the frustration on the face of Owen Beck. All glee from Monty Barrett as he gets on the uh, rope apron. <laughs> With that, that left hook started it, and it landed, I think, on the temple, and that hurt the equilibrium of Owen Beck. And then the uppercut, which was a very big weapon during the course of this fight, and once Beck was in trouble on the ropes, Barrett wasn't as precise as he would like to be, but hey, he got the job done because he was able to land some of those big punches, even if they were wide. There was a good straight right hand. That was the first of the two knockdowns of Owen Beck. And Monty Barrett, while he wasn't as artistic as he would like, certainly threw those punches with lots of power. The second knockdown when Beck, with only seconds remaining in the round, Beck was almost able to survive the round but there would be I believe a, uh, a right hand there's the right hand that really hurt him and uh, followed by a very short left hook that was a very well delivered left hook by Barrett and at this juncture Jay Nady had seen enough and rightfully so. Monty Barrett treating Owen Beck like a rag doll in that last round as he went down two times one earlier back in round two so Monty Barrett continues to exult. So he improves to 31 and 3 with 17 knockouts. And he hears it from the crowd. Show me your money. Hey, yo, baby, come on. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 52 seconds in round number 9. Our referee in charge, Jay Nady, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, Monty. Two go. 